Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today to talk about Sertara's new software solution, Pinnacle 21 Data Exchange. I am grateful for the opportunity to speak with you all, even if it isn't in person. My name is Erin Ergener, and I am a director of product here at Pinnacle 21. I am leading the new product development, including data exchange. I have worked in clinical and research settings for almost 20 years, and I have spent the last decade focusing on data acquisition, data management, and SDTM transformation for external vendor data. I joined Pinnacle 21 about a year and a half ago, and I'm very excited to be here on the software side, building out some solutions that I know are so desperately needed in our industry. A little bit of housekeeping. So if you'd like to ask any questions during the webinar, please click that icon. Time permitting, questions will be answered at the end. Any questions that we are not able to cover will be addressed in a blog post, or I can reach out individually at a later time. Let's take a look at the agenda. We will start by discussing terminology, aligning on nomenclature, and taking a high-level view of how this external vendor data moves and changes throughout a clinical trial. We will take a look at how external vendor data is impacting study data timelines and submissions, and touch on how it's managed by most teams. Then we will discuss the impact of a solution, focusing on addressing the pain points you're likely experiencing, and discuss how data exchange can improve your current ways of working. Next, we will explore the features available currently in Pinnacle 21 Data Exchange. And lastly, I'll provide some information on how you can find out more information and request a detailed personalized demo. Before we get started, let's align on the language. Today, we will be talking about external vendor data. What does that mean? It's all of the assessment data for a clinical trial that is not captured within the EDC tool. It is the data that isn't entered into the CRF. It's data delivered by laboratories or digital health data vendors that comes from the results of their analysis on the samples collected and the tests conducted. Our industry has so many different terms for this kind of data. Broad terms like third-party data, vendor data, external data, or more specific terms like labs, biomarkers, imaging, ECOA. I will be using external vendor data or external data because I think it describes the key differentiator. It is data that is provided by external companies or sources, data that comes in external to the CRF. Let's take a step back and look at the high level flow of external vendor data in a clinical trial. The life cycle of this data starts when it's collected from a participant, whether it is a biospecimen sample or an electronic assessment. The samples or the data are then analyzed and outcomes are measured. Sertara has products and services that support decisions at the beginning of this data flow, helping teams analyze and interpret the assessments. At this point of the data flow, it doesn't really matter if the assessment started out as a blood draw or an e-diary, Everything we know about it is now represented as data. The data is then transferred to the company conducting the trial. The data is reviewed and modified, aggregated, handed off, passing from one system or one team to the next until it is deemed ready for regulatory reporting. Sertara has multiple software solutions and services that support critical processes throughout the entire flow of this data. Pinnacle 21 has excelled in this regulatory submission space um, due to an industry-leading validation engine that was designed to evaluate compliance to data standards. P21 Enterprise was created and maintained by industry-leading subject matter experts. Data Exchange leverages that expertise to solve issues upstream, focusing on the submission of external data from the vendor to the sponsor. This handoff has a frequent source of ballooning timelines and budgets. Errors and inefficiencies here are felt in every single step downstream. Unfortunately, the weakest point on this data flow gets tested more every day. Previously, the majority of data collected for a clinical trial was captured in the EDC. Only a few simple lab files were delivered electronically. 
maybe some safety labs, perhaps a biomarker or two. That isn't the case anymore. Advances in genetic sequencing and immunogenicity are leading to better understanding of how patients are responding to interventions. These advances have also resulted in massive amounts of data, huge files with thousands of records per patient. And it isn't just the number and complexity of assessments that are growing. Advances in technology are leading to better ways of capturing these assessments. There's a huge push for decentralized trials, especially after COVID. And this results in massive amounts of data, data that is collected passively, continuously. More than 70% of data is collected externally, and the majority of clinical trials have four or more sources of external data. The expansion of external vendor data is having a huge impact on the industry. It is not easy trying to figure out how to manage, categorize, define, map, evaluate, and report new data types. The most common cause of delayed database locks are due to challenges with external data. The existing systems and processes just can't keep up. Sponsors are reporting a 32% increase in the time between last subject, last visit and database lock. Every day the trial is up and running, costs an enormous amount of money. Every day delays approval. Across pharma, companies large and small, it's the same story. For external data, everyone has the same challenges and everyone has the same basic requirements. Pinnacle 21 Data Exchange was created specifically for the pharma industry, designed to address the significant challenges associated with managing external vendor data. It has been developed based on feedback from our customers over the last two years, and it's been in production with the top 10 pharma companies since December. It reduces timelines, less time to create specs, less time to understand requirements, less time to deliver files, and less time to manage and transform files. It reduces the burden on resources, less time creating study-specific checks and managing homegrown tools. And of course, it follows that it reduces the cost of operations. All of this while improving data quality, including data integrity and reduction of manual efforts. It enables simplified workflows, both for internal and external teams, and it empowers automated real-time executive oversight with reporting and analytics that focus on timelines and data quality. How is all of this possible? Well, let's take a look at some of the features we've developed. Most companies man manage data transfer specifications in spreadsheets or inflexible legacy systems. Our interface pairs the familiar structure of a workbook with all of the benefits of cloud-based collaboration and in-app validation. You can create a spec based on multiple sources of metadata, from a test file uploaded by the vendor, from a template, from another study, or by starting from data standards loaded into your environment. As you create and modify your spec, you've got logical dropdown options and real-time in-cell validation. We have a value level rule builder to specify more nuanced requirements. It is SQL based, so simple. it's really simple to create new rules from scratch, but it's also easy to use our ad wizard to pull them into your study from standards, templates, and other studies. We have spec versioning as well as automated change logs that record all additions, deletions, and modifications, including who made the change and when. Everyone with access to the data package has the ability to see the requirements laid out in the specification. Some users are able to modify the specs, and, but we have role-based access that ensure that some users have only read-only functionality. That means that there is truly only one single source of truth, one specification, one complete and current set of requirements, and everyone knows what they are. One of the best ways to reduce end of study timelines is to have the study specs reviewed by everyone that would be impacted if they were wrong. That means data management, data acquisition, data standards, clinical programming, stats programming, and then of course also by the team on the vendor side. Instead of emails, communication can be done within the UI with our chat feature. It allows you to ask questions and provide commentary and instructions directed to specific users that have access to the spec. When someone tags you in a chat, a notification is sent to your email, and the link in the email takes you right to the comment or question. The history is retained and it can be exported and archived, which is wonderful for, for knowledge transfer. 
I'm sure we have all experienced the studies that go on for years and years and have many changes to the team supporting it. Trying to remember to document discussions and emails isn't really realistic. Technology makes all of this so much simpler. One of the key features of data exchange is the ability to deliver files to downstream locations. The data files are uploaded and validated by the vendor users through our UI or our, an SFTP connection. And the process is very simple and fast, even for massive files. All of the common file formats are accepted, SAS, XPT, CSV, Excel. In addition to the validation checks in the specification itself, we have checks that are run against the transferred data files. We have libraries of checks that are applied based on the way that the data package is configured. For example, if there's a system to which a file is getting delivered and it has particular requirements, requirements maybe a limit on the file type or the date formats, we can create and enable specific libraries of checks that address those issues. We can also generate an, any additional metadata that's needed by that downstream system to ensure successful delivery. The library of conformance checks is run immediately upon upload. This is really powerful. It means that the vendor is able to see the structure, format, code list, and other internally logical data issues right away. It empowers the vendor to make corrections immediately and deliver a new file before the sponsor teams are impacted by any errors or omissions. The time savings realized by eliminating the needless and inefficient cycle of the drawn out revisions is significant. Our in-app issue management is very robust. The checks are categorized in terms of impact and this is color coded so it's clear to see what issues should be addressed first. Users can categorize and flag issues to other people. If you are tagged in an issue, you will receive an email notification with a link that leads right to where the issue is. We support bulk actions to manage multiple outputs related to the same root cause. If there are data issues that just can't be fixed, well, explanations can be entered and exported into the SDRG at the end of the study. All communications, all actions are, of course, able to be exported and archived at the end of the study. This is a lot easier than emailing issue spreadsheets back and forth and both parties spending a week trying to understand what the other person is talking about. It's also a great way for people working downstream of this data to see what issues have already been addressed. And remember, we don't charge per user. We really want to enable all team members to collaborate within our environment. Another great feature with a ton of use cases is our sample data generator. Once you have a stable spec, you can click export sample data and you will immediately have a CSV file generated for each data set. And this file complies with all of the rules that you've laid out in your specification. This is a really great way to help data managers and vendors visualize and see what the data is going to look like. It's also useful for data standards uh, for example, when you're trying to determine if you need any additional variables to differentiate records, it's also useful for the creation of edit checks and listings. In addition, it's also great for doing any kind of pre-programming efforts so you can see and get as much of the work done as possible before you have the real data coming in. This is especially useful when you have files that don't come in until the end of the study. The data files have records that re represent all of the scenarios that are allowed based on their requirements, and it ensures that all of the value level rules you've set are represented. While we're talking specifically about vendor data today, users with data exchange enabled in their environment for their studies can also use Sample Data Generator to create SDTM data files, which of course is even more powerful. The last feature we will cover today is one that is near and dear to my heart, metrics. I love quality metrics, measuring with accuracy, but also measuring what matters. There are dashboards that provide snapshots of the state of the data package, summarizing issue sources and statuses. We have a suite of reports in place that enable users to roll up pertinent quality and compliance summaries. The list of analytics that we are developing just keeps growing. 
The beauty of having so many pieces done within one tool is that all of the objective data points needed are at your fingertips. How long does it take to get a spec finalized? How long after it is final does it take for the vendor to send that first transfer? What is the objective measure of quality of that transfer file? Well, we have a numeric score and that indicates how well a data file that's transferred complies with the rules that you've set in your requirements. And then let's take it one level up. Wouldn't it be great to see how your timelines and quality compare across your studies, your compounds, therapeutic areas, and also across vendors? If you want to have and make data-driven decisions, you have to have the data. So with all of the features that are part of the solution that we talked about today, I am sure that you are asking yourselves, does it really work? And the answer is yes. Even in early development, um, as adoption is still ramping up across the organiz in an organization, a top 10 pharma company is already experiencing significant time savings. Here are some of the estimates on the reduction of efforts involved in tasks associated with managing external vendor data. There's an 80% decrease in the time it takes for system access and governance. File ingestion is 90% faster. A reduction in the data transfer spec review of 50 to 75%. And a 75% reduction in validation and issue management. The reaction from internal and external stakeholders has been overwhelmingly positive. Really, it's successful because we're focusing on supporting all of the users that are working along all the different points of this data flow. The data exchange tool is designed to improve collaboration between departments and companies, as well as reduce the manual efforts and the, that, that slow the teams down. We are so excited to keep growing the capabilities of the features to meet the needs of across all the different departments in R&D. Data Exchange is a solution that reflects what we here at Pinnacle 21 and Sertara do best. We enable teams across the industry to make data-driven decisions throughout the R&D lifecycle. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn about our new solution, Pinnacle 21 Data Exchange. It's a tool that enforces data quality and integrity throughout the external data lifecycle. It enables a clean conduit from data collection to delivery, and it ensures a secure handoff between the data generators and the data consumers. All of the features we cover today are available as part of an additional tier offering of Pinnacle 21 Enterprise. My name is Erin Ergener, and my contact information is on the next screen. Along with Maura Murphy, our amazing account leader. If you would like any more information about Data Exchange or any of our new product solutions, or if you would like to schedule a more detailed overview, including a demo of the product, please reach out.